So whether you're a screenwriter or an author, and you are the type of person that spends a lot of time telling stories, then many of you can probably relate that the process of coming up with and brainstorming ideas can be really irritating and really stressful. Just simply coming up with ideas can be really difficult, let alone coming up with ideas that you actually like. For this video, I'm going to be going through a few tips and suggestions as far as how I brainstorm and develop my stories. Being that I'm a filmmaker, this will be mostly from the perspective of a screenwriter. However, I think that all of the tips I'll be covering can apply to any medium of storytelling, whether that's novels or plays or even poetry. And for this video, I'll be covering three specific points that I think are really important. The first point has to do with actually coming up with your idea or premise for your story. For me personally, when I'm trying to come up with a story idea, I usually start off by asking myself a question. What story do I really want to be telling? What type of message or theme do I want to put out? Let's say you want to tell a story about classism. It's much more effective to start off with a theme or a message of some kind. The reason that I mention this is because often when you're trying to brainstorm ideas, it's much more tempting to try to brainstorm different plot lines. Rather, what you should try to do is start off, like I said, coming up with a certain theme or a type of story you want to tell first, and then try to build some sort of storyline around that idea. Let your story sort of bloom naturally from that central idea. So the second point I want to discuss is developing your story and your characters a little bit before you actually start writing. Of course, one of the most obvious and widely used practices that people do before they start writing is creating an outline. An outline can be as specific or as loose as you want it to be, but it generally what you want your outline to be is something that allows you to highlight the key points throughout your story. Writing an outline gives you a clear sense of direction as you're writing. Something else that many people that I know don't actually use is writing biographies for your characters. Often it can be very helpful to write maybe just a page long summary for each of your main integral characters of your story. This biography can include backstory such as you know, the childhood or the upbringing of your character. You, you can throw in, you know, any jobs your character's had, any interests your character has, any hobbies, anything that you think is integral to your character and defines them in a significant way. Not only does this give you as a writer a clear sense of who your characters are, but it also makes it much easier to develop them throughout your story and figure out how they would react to certain situations, or what makes their role in the story so important. Once you have a solid foundation of each of your characters and the story you want to tell, coming up with a specific plot line for your story will come more naturally to you. And the third and final point that I'd like to cover is making sure that you actually like your idea. Now I know this sounds extremely obvious, and it is, but it can actually be a legitimate challenge and hurdle for many people, including myself. I think there, there are two things to think about to really guarantee that the story you're telling is something that you're actually passionate about and something that you like. One thing that you should be asking yourself is whether this is a story that you can really see yourself investing a lot of time into. Whether you're a screenwriter, an author, whatever, whatever story it is you decide to tell, you're going to be spending a lot of time working on. Another thing too is you want to make sure that the story that you're telling has some sort of personal significance or connection to you yourself as the storyteller. Even if you want to do some crazy sci-fi fantasy story, something super out of this world, you still want to ground it in something that you yourself understand that you have experienced. You want to have some sort of emotional investment into your story, some sort of emotional understanding. Not only will this benefit the quality of your story, as it will, it will feel more genuine and more down to earth, it will also make it much easier 
to stay invested and stay passionate in the story for an extended period of time. So I hope that all these points and suggestions that I went over were helpful. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and let me know if you would like me to do more videos kind of like this. So yeah, that'll be all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.